All right. Good morning. Welcome. welcome. I said morning because it's morning here. It's 3.46 a.m. on this Thursday, July 11th. And I'm posting because I meant to post this yesterday. So, even though this says July 11th, all of this news except two articles are from uh the july 9th and july 10th so um let me see let me, i've been forgetting to talk about spotify spotify.com my fx buddies is on spotify.com um so it's either i think if you have a free account it's audio only if you have if you pay for a membership or whatever they call it, you can see the video there, I believe. They just made some changes, and they're called something else now, I think. But, yeah. All right. And let's see. The blog. The blog. MyFXBuddies.blogspot.com. Or you could try MyFXBuddies.com. But you have to use the HTTPS. If they don't um, do this by the 18th, I will correct that. Because actually that domain is going to have to be renewed. MyFXBuddies.com, it's going to be up for renewal. So I might as well make it work right, right? Okay, anyway, that's stuff you don't need to know. But okay, so um what else youtube if you are listening to this on youtube and yes i said listening because it appears there's a video there but it's not the video notice the image is the same image so look below the box that appears to be the video look for the word more click on the word more another box opens and there's a link to the actual blog there rumble my fx buddies that's where the video that gets posted on the blog is hosted because um they're a little more user friendly than another video site all right let's see so i think that's it rss.com my fx buddies there's a transcript youtube does one but it's horrible um the one at rss.com does well and that's mostly where international listeners yes i have international listeners and they're the ones that go and download the transcript because it probably helps them follow along with me all right so let's get into it first of all let me just tell you still no uh i apologize but i am watching iraqi tv and this intro gets really loud for some reason okay no nothing in the gazette but there's something interesting i'm going to show you um what else are we waiting for parliament has returned today is a heat holiday there's 10 10 uh provinces governances whatever you want to call it that are what do they call it suspending official working hours because of the heat they actually are having people just drop on alive um on the streets and it's it's not because it's any hotter than normal it's still the regular 126 122 degrees but people are just i i always say this we're just weaker we're just not as strong you know they've done things to us that have weakened us where we just can't things that we would have survived years ago we a lot of us can't survive a lot of people are overweight and the two people that they were showing which was awful they actually filmed them laid out on the street because they don't have whatever that agency is that we have that you can't show this you can't show that iraq doesn't have that <laughs> it's 
so the images they show are woo. but anyway yeah so you could see both of them were overweight uh, probably obese and um yeah but so they're doing all they can they have like these spray things and then they also have this water where they just pour like buckets of water on themselves and so yeah so um they're probably gonna have more heat holidays this year than before but anyway all right so and i know we're experiencing heat here too in america plus with the hurricane season so there's just a lot going on but we are survivors right okay anyway so let's get in so i think that's it oh and then yesterday was kind of a holiday also it was the seventh year of mosul being liberated uh so it that was recognized um it wasn't like a national holiday but i noticed some of the websites didn't update like they do normally so so i think things won't be back to normal because it's thursday and then they go into their holy day right friday probably sunday maybe saturday sunday or they could surprise me like they did uh, today all right so um and parliament is back did i say that all right so here this is um the central bank explains the reasons reasons for the rise in dollar prices okay so look at this the board of directors of the central bank of iraq we don't really hear from them too much so that's how you know it's a serious matter everybody that's all they're talking about every day is the exchange rate and we got some more details on that meeting that took place so for time's sake um i'm gonna skip a lot of these articles but again you should go to the blog you should read them for yourself it's free you don't have to subscribe you don't have to put your email in just go to the blog and you can see the articles there all right so they explained the reasons for the rise in the dollar exchange rate dollar exchange rate the issue of the rise in the exchange rate of the dollar against the iraqi dinar in the local market is not related to the measures taken by the bank but rather due to the american restrictions imposed imposed on the central bank and related to the electronic related to the electronic platform so they're like hey it's not our fault don't blame us we're doing everything we're supposed to do it's america <laughs> Blame America. <laughs> but, um, I might just shut that off. Okay, anyway. So let's see. What else do they say? Another reason related to the rise in the exchange rate of the dollar is the connection to the electronic platform that controls the floating of the currency. Hmm. In the market where it is less than the demand. So I thought that was interesting when Mohammed Saleh every day for five days in a row has been talking about the fixed rate exchange system, right? So, but, and it could be because they're in limbo, right? We know they're trying to go from the old system they've been on for 20 years to the new one and it's not going smoothly, right? So it makes sense. Okay, so there's that. There's, there's an image I went, meant to put here. Okay, anyway. So 150 postponed laws. Major duties await the Iraqi parliament in its second legislative term. And that doesn't matter. We don't care what term it is. They're back. So they came back on the 9th. And they got busy. They did some, some stuff on the 10th. So you can read this, but it's it's just one of those articles saying, hey, we have all these laws that are sitting, waiting. Now we're back to work. We're going to get to it. All right. And it's long. See, I'm still scrolling down. 
failure is growing due to the indecisiveness of the parliament speaker so that again i i really don't believe them not having the house speaker has anything to do with the rv they need it for them um for there to be no doubt of uh, when they make decisions the troublemakers can't go uh wait a minute we don't have a house speaker we have a proxy we have a proxy house speaker so i'm going to bring a federal case right if they um if they give the house speaker formally right voted in the constitutional way then the troublemakers can't do that okay so here they're also talking about article 140 so and there's a lot going on with turkey and water and kuwait and just stuff it's important to iraq but i doubt it has anything to do with the rv so i think there's one more yep members of parliament are political analysts so this article is really long but here's a shorter one hot legislative session for parliament with amnesty oil and property laws and this was urgent urgent news so yeah so they're just saying we got all these laws we're gonna hurry up and do them all right here four four new decisions from the central bank of iraq regarding government banks let me just say this for someone who's new the volume keeps going down because i have telegram on my computer and when the notification notification pops up my volume goes down but i'm aware of this and i repeat what i just said while the notification came up okay so it's not your volume it's it's my volume but but i'm so scatterbrained if i close the app i will forget to reopen it so please just deal with that okay i apologize but um that's what that is nothing wrong with your equipment it's on my side okay but i promise you won't miss a word of what i'm saying all right so here's another image i believe this is computer because see here it's complete the cbi building and it's not complete yet but look it is literally right on the river right there's the river <laughs> tinkers euphrates i don't know whatever but anyway so four new decisions right and what are they Rafidon bank is being restructured by dividing it into two banks the old one for government accounts the new one as a commercial bank slash public joint stock company number two after that rashid bank will be merged with the new Rafidon bank so Rafidon and rashid banks are state banks and it's looking like they're going to be merged so big changes there if they do it number three the industrial bank will be transformed into a public joint stock company and then the agricultural cooperative bank will be acquired at a later stage the real estate bank will be merged with the housing fund and here's a letter a document sorry official document but you see how it's um it's blurry and gray it, it's difficult i can't translate it so we'll just have to trust that's what it says but yeah they're going to be doing that and this was approved either february 1st 2024 or january 2nd 2024 but they're getting ready to do it now so hopefully i think their thinking is when they turn these to no longer being state-owned and public joint stock companies maybe the public will feel better about them have more confidence in them i doubt it but okay here's another article after the dollar jumps 
Parliamentary Finance Committee determines the fate of exchange rates and the reason for the increase. Increase, increase. And let's see. I have this bolded yesterday. So this would have been July 8th, I believe. July 9th, right? Yeah, because today's the 11th. Okay. Today, uh, Baghdad Today had monitored an important and mysterious reason, which was the sudden and incomprehensible increase in demand for the dollars in the parallel market, which in the return of scenes of money bags and new blocks with billions of dinars of the new printed currency and its entry into the market for the purpose of exchanging it for the dollar. So there again, they're talking about new currency. There again, they're talking about new currency, but this is probably the three zero notes, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Okay, here, here's the details. If you don't remember what two days ago, they had a urgent uh, meeting at Sadani's, it said office, but I think it was his house. And look, here's the title. Sudani stayed awake until 2 a.m., then slept comfortably after the dollar meeting. How does this person know how he slept? But anyway, then it says the price shock will not last. Uh, an informed source in the central bank reported that last night's meeting between Prime Minister Sudani and the representatives of the exchange companies objecting to the new decisions regarding the traveler's dollar amid a sudden rise in the exchange rate led to the cancellation of the strike that was scheduled by these companies in exchange for a promise from the government a promise okay from the government and the central bank to review the demands called for by the money changers meanwhile one of the businessmen who attended the meeting confirmed that the talks continued until two in the morning and then everything left excuse me, everyone left feeling less concerned about the expected financial fluctuations in the coming period. So, because they're still not going to sell dollars until July 14th, they feel the rate could go up. However, it's been going down. Not by much, but it is like 1482 in some places, still 1502 in some, but it's down to 1482 in others. So it's slowly coming down. So this source said the position of the government and the central bank is clear regarding the procedures for selling the dollar, especially the traveler's dollar, and restricting it to bank and company outlets and airports. And there's no going back on this position. So even though the exchange people rejected the new mechanisms, uh, Sadani said, no, we're not changing anything, right? That's what it says there. So it says there's a bigger issue related to the American position on the currency selling mechanism and the conditions and mechanisms of the sale. Therefore, the government and central bank will not risk the dollar file for the sake of objections here or there. So they're like, look, uh, this is what America has said. So sorry. I know you're objecting to it, but um, we got to do this, right? Or they'll shut off our dollar flow. Um, so still, despite that, they still came out of this meeting canceling, not postponing, canceling a two-day. They were going to do a two-day strike um, or whatever. This is the right word, but whatever across the country okay so i'm emphasizing that for a reason so there's a little bit more so if you want to read that you can but for time's sake looky here this was on the central bank's website the central bank of iraq grants exchange companies two categories so they opened up this um which they had already closed but they opened up the opportunity for these exchangers 
to qualify for category A or B to become legitimate money changing companies so they could get the dollar and sell the dollar. So I think, look, there's only two sentences here. And um, I think I did translate this. No, actually I didn't. Because see how it, it looks funny? I was hoping it would come up somewhere else look in, with a better, a more clear uh, image. But it didn't. But I'm sure that that's what it says. I feel I'm pretty certain. So this is probably one of the things that they did to appease the exchangers. They said, look, you you can't operate the way you are now, but here we'll reopen chances for you to qualify as A or B category. So, and who knows what else, right? It would be nice if they told them, hey, look, we're going to exchange. We're going to change the exchange rate next week. So just chill. I would love for that to be the case, right? But we'll see. All right, here's another announcement of a new branch of Rapidon Bank applies the comprehensive com uh, banking system. And this time it's in Diala. But then also they have other, see? So there's four branches actually in Diala that have activated the comprehensive system. Yay! And the border crossing. So they got the comprehensive banking and that probably that Escada, uh program that they've linked to. So they're moving right along. Look at this. 91% of the Iraqi currency is outside the banking system. This is going the wrong way. Before they had gotten it down to 80 something. Now it's back up to 91%. All right, so here a member of parliament points out five government failures in the dollar issue and threatens to hold the highest authority accountable. So you can read this. It, he does give legitimate gripes, but then there's no solutions. Of course, it's our fault, America on a formula for dealing with Iran, Syria, and Turkey without facing restrictions, right? Um, let's see. Oh, this guy, he's, he's a little loud. All right. Uh, let's see. Here, dealing with small traders that rely on the parallel dollar market. So he has some legitimate... He's not just complaining. He's like, this is, you failed to do this, 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 and this. But then he doesn't give um, solutions either. But, and and look at this last name, Maliki. But it's not, it's not Nori Maliki. But I'm sure this person is probably related to him. All right. Dollar mafias and corruption reveal Sudanese government's inability to manage Iraq's economy. So this is a coordination framework member, and we know they are Iranian-backed. Uh, so you know they're the they're ones that make trouble, and of course they want to talk bad about Sudani and make him look weak. And I can't remember, but that's also, Maliki has been part of that group, but there's been a split in this group. Two members totally left and actually have not announced yet, unless I'm just not seeing it. They haven't said if they're going with the new party or maybe they're just going to be independent. I don't know. but. There was an article saying Maliki hasn't been at the last two framework meetings. But then also he's trying to focus on uh, um, amending, no, amend, mending, mending his relationship with Sadar. So there's been a lot of articles about that, which Sadar has not, he came out, man, he's surrounded by security people. 
but he typical he's just religious he's not still not saying anything political all his comments are religious okay so let me see we're almost done revealing the daily volume of dollar sales in the parallel market uh, why did i put this here here they're already saying there's travelers that are traveling but they're not receiving dollars what which we know right because they're not going to start selling dollars to the travelers until the 14th. But they also say there's foreign workers who have invaded the Iraqi market with the presence of more than a million workers. So those people, they're having trouble. They want to have some kind of document. They want a documentation of these foreign workers, but they're probably scared they're going to be deported. So they're not they're not coming even though they announce it they even put it on TV they just can't they won't come so they're unbanked these these people they probably get paid daily they probably still get paid cash and um, yeah so I'm not sure how they they think there's more than a million workers I'm not sure how they're counting them if they won't register but somehow they have that so that's a pretty big story there right now. Um, here, look at this font. Expert warns of dollar exceeding a, a 1,600 dinars per dollar, but this is for Iranian goods. So could there be some corruption there? How come their goods are so expensive? And I thought they were on a boycott. I thought the Iraqi people were not buying Iranian goods. I don't know, but maybe they have no choice. And then, if they're there, <laughs> it it's high higher than their um, the other goods that they can purchase. Here's one last article. Well, it's early today, but so far today, I have not seen Mohammed Sali talking about our cash reserves are the highest, and there's no fears of the dollar rising. So here's another article if you want to read that. Okay, a representative accuses America of obstructing Iraq's economic openness to the countries of the world. And this is Deputy Chairman of the Parliamentary Economics Committee, Yasser al-Husseini, accused the U.S. of America of obstructing Iraq's economic openness to the countries of the world saying America stands as a stumbling block in the way of the growth of the Iraqi economy. And he may be right. Here's another article. This is a different, this is a ex, economic expert, Hantush, Mustafa Hantush, economic, the ambig, ambiguity of the central bank's dealings serves the Americans. But they should understand they have no choice. They have to do what we tell them to do. Or we'll make, we'll cut their dollars and it'll go up even higher. And like, especially this guy, he's not even running for anything, right? He's just an economic expert. I can see the, po po I can see the politicians, why they would um be, to cause problems because they're trying to get they're trying to get re uh, reelected or whatever right but anyway and let's see I think there's one more uh, this is he's a former representative of the finance committee Mohammed mm, that's an interesting last name. There are no government solutions to the repercussions of the rise in the dollar exchange rate. And I'll just read this. The large demand for the dollar during this period is one of the direct reasons for the rise in its price. In addition to the increasing demand for it, which made the crisis worsen, noting that the fluctuations in the rise and fall in the currency lead to a lack of confidence in the dinar. So they know it's temporary. They know it's a rise. They know it's temporary. But they still have to comment on it. 
All right, so this came out. The banking sector in Iraq. Open thefts and bargaining over loans. And this is an infograph. It's in Arabic, but the words um, are here below. Let's see. This person, an independent politician, strongly criticized the banking sector in Iraq, describing it as one of the main pillars of political corruption in the country. And they might be right, right? Because we know a lot of Iranian-backed people own the banks, work in the banks if they don't own them, right? So um, you could read that if you like. And for the first time, the Iraqi state's non-oil revenues record an increase of 11%. All right, we're almost done. Okay, so that's that. Now let me show you. Let me show you something. The, um, so remember I said there's no new gazette, that it's not in the gazette, but looky, looky here. The last gazette that went out was number 4781 on July 1st. And what was issued today? See, you can't see this, these letters. These numbers are really tiny. But see that? So July 11th, 2024, issue 4783. Hmm. Dated July 8th. So what's missing between 4781 and 4783? That's right. 4782. So... Oh, well, 4783 is out, and there's nothing. The The schedules are not in 4783. Perhaps they are in 4782, and they're not ready to be published. So they said, okay, we'll skip 4782, and we'll put out 4783. Yes, they have done that before. They don't do it very often, but they have to be absolutely certain because this is their legal paper. Like here in America, we have con congressional record or something like that. I know I should know that, right? But don't tell anyone. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um. So yeah. So they, if they're gonna put out a gazette. It has to be right and accurate. And um, so, yeah, that's interesting. So today's Wednesday, right? I'm going to keep checking because since, especially since Parliament's back, maybe they'll do something. I doubt it, though. But uh, let's see. The Council of Ministers Economic Committee, they met yesterday, and there were a lot of decisions. It had to do with the budget and numbers, project numbers. So I think they're still working on it. But yeah, so I keep checking. And uh, if, if I have to do another post to say, hey, it's in the budget, I will. But I don't think I'm going to. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. I went over three, four minutes. Okay, so everything's good. I don't feel... um it it seems like we're in limbo you know some people are expecting july 18th they're gonna announce the wto ascension i doubt they are but we'll see um but there's been so many articles about the exchange rate and emphasis on hey we're gonna start selling the dollar on july 14th could it be that they're going to do more than sell the dollar. They're going to change the rate too. I don't know. But I tell you what, we'll be watching. All right. So let me go back over here. So thank you again. So it is Thursday, right? It's Thursday, July 11th. Oh, but wait, before I say that, accumulate while we wait for the rate to appreciate. Don't miss any mails and pay all your bills. Thank you for listening. I hope this helps. 
um, and wherever you're listening if there's a follow join subscribe button click that tap that swipe that whatever option you have and um, because I don't post regularly so if you do that and technology works as it is supposed to you'll get an update when I post all right now I can say thank you for listening enjoy the rest of your morning night noon whatever time frame you're enjoying this content and until next time